The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation released a new report on how climate change will impact the Sacramento region's water supply. It found the foothills could start seeing shortfalls up to 78,000 acre feet a year. One acre foot could serve three households for a year. The issue, hotter temperatures evaporating the water. Even record-breaking snowfall like we had last December in the Sierra can just disappear in a hot drought like the one we're dealing with now. So where did all the snow go? CBS 13's Madison Keevy went to Dunner Pass to find out. The sound of summer in the Sierra during a drought. Not a roar, but a burble. What's abnormal is realistically just how dry our conditions have become over the last several years. Andrew Schwartz is the lead scientist at the UC Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Lab, where all things climate, weather, snow, and water are tracked and analyzed year round. And it seems that we've got this was Schwartz's view last winter at Donner Pass in the Sierra. It was the deepest December on record more than 200 inches of snow. But um, in the long run, it didn't help us a whole lot because January through March was, was very dry uh, for that time of year. A snow spectacle in April wasn't enough to make up for an uncharacteristically early start to snow melt the first week of February. We saw very warm temperatures, um, extreme temperatures up here that really accelerated that warmth. And then on top of it, we didn't get any snow to replenish that melt. A NASA satellite captured just how quickly the snow disappeared. This image was taken in March at the seasonal peak. Compare it to May when snow cover was 7% of normal. Then July, the snow packed down to essentially zero. Not all the snow that fell in that record-breaking December melted to fill streams, lakes, and rivers into the summer. The reason? Sublimation. Snow melt that would have become water instead disappeared. With sublimation, it goes right from being ice to uh, being water vapor in the atmosphere. Is It effectively removes a lot of our snow from the mountain that won't end up in our reservoirs. When snow falls in areas ravaged by wildfire, that process happens even faster. Fewer trees leads to increased wind speeds. There aren't the same number of tree branches and pine needles to block the sunlight. And that additional sunlight coming in in those burned forests means that it's going to help melt the snow faster. Schwartz said there's talk now that natural precipitation may not be able to be the savior for California that it once was. Well, this story is part of a special we've been working on with CBS News stations all across California. We've traveled up and down the state to show you what a warming climate is doing to our water and what we can all do about it. You can watch Parched, California's Climate Crisis tonight at 7 p.m., streaming on CBS Sacramento and on Pluto TV.